When copying or deriving sketches in solid works from one face to another, it's almost impossible to predict exactly what position the copied sketch is going to be in. So what we have in SolidWorks is the ability to modify the actual copied sketch. And within the modify command, what we can actually do is actually uh, reorientate, we can drag, scale, rotate and flip. Now let me give you an example of this. On this particular model, you can see that we have this small cutout that's in our cut extrude 4. If I just click on sketch 7 and do control C and then click on this particular face and control V, you can see that it's placed our copied sketch as we would expect. Unfortunately though, we'd actually like to position this at 90 degrees to its current position in order to fit within the actual face itself. Now, we can either go into the sketch itself and start changing all the geometry and relations, etc. But rather than do that, if we actually just edit our sketch and then go to our tools, sketch tools, and modify, you can see that a dialog box will pop up which will allow us, if we wish to, to rotate this round 90 degrees. So if I just type in 90 degrees and hit return, you can see that that's actually rotated. We may also wish to actually scale this down. Again, rather than changing all the individual values within our dimension in our sketch, we can just click in our factor box and we'll actually scale this down to be 0.75. And again, that scaled it down. Again, positioning, we can either actually type in some coordinate values to position it about a particular point, or, if you look at the cursor in SOLIDWORKS, you can see on my left hand button, I've actually got a pan symbol. And that allows me to just drag my sketch around and position it where I wish. And I'm just going to drop that in about there. I can add dimensions if I wish to, to position it further to edges. But at the moment, that's currently what all I'm really after. So we're just actually going to close this particular box and exit our sketch. Another alternative is to actually mirror it or flip it. Now, since we've done the control C previously, my sketch is still on my clipboard, so all I need to do is just click on this particular face here and do a control V to copy that sketch back in. Again, if we actually edit the sketch, it's in the wrong, it's not that it's in the wrong orientation, it's actually, it's just actually pointing in the wrong direction. And again, rather than modify the individual entities, we can actually use our modify sketch command to help us flip this over. If I now go to my tools and sketch tools and modify again, rather than actually look at the modify sketch dialog box, what I'm really interested in is this little symbol here. And if we hover over the symbol, you can see that on our left hand button we have our pan, on our right hand button we have the option to rotate it if we wish to. So I can rotate this round any particular angle rather than typing it in. But what I'm really interested in is on the right hand button if I hover over the symbol itself, I get the option to flip it. And you can see I can flip it in this direction. Okay, just by going backwards and forwards or I can flip it in that direction as well. A really useful tool to help us reorientate and position our copied and derived sketches.